So, wait a minute. Is there a baby in that carriage? Did <laughs> no. they did you buy a baby? So yesterday, Shaylee and Nate purchased a Jayco J Flight, and uh, what was the model number, Shay? It's a 286 BHSW. Time she's hooked up. There's a lot of them here. All right, Shay, give us a tour of your brand new Jayco. And we got home last night after uh, driving about 60 miles and they're about ready to start moving things in from their previous trailer which was a 17 foot sunrise they have a growing family they felt like they needed a little bit more space so the one thing that they were surprised about when we when we arrived down there uh, the dealership had was was actually in the process of mounting that one on and um, so you, i guess you got it for free right yeah, i mean it was, yeah, it was part of the, part it of the went, negotiations but it yeah so they're pretty excited to get a really nice the uh, equalizer set up and uh, of course it has two batteries now one thing that i noticed is it does have the smaller um the smaller lp tanks but i guess that is actually uh part of this particular rocky mountain edition yep. package and and certainly they could have elected to get larger propane tanks um, but I've seen a trend with going with the smaller propane tanks. My own trailer came with the smaller propane tanks and one of the reasons that was given was because they're just much easier to uh, to exchange if for some reason you run out on a Sunday. But, and then this particular package also did not come with the uh, the propane cover. Nate did purchase that separately. Um, Guess you want want those covered up, Nate? Yep, I definitely want them covered up. <laughs> it also came with the uh, the electric jack, so Nate doesn't have to sit there and crank the jack up and down every time. This particular model has pass-through storage up here in the front, and that pass-through storage, there's a door on the other side as well, goes underneath the front bed. There's underneath storage that connects to the outside. Outside, but you can Pass lock through. it off if you want. And uh, I think Shaylee's already planning on putting some kind of a divider yes. so that she can store linens and and whatnot underneath the front bed that won't become, I guess, dirty yeah. by by whatever items you decide to store up here in this front passage. You get any bugs from? stuff coming in and out from camping yeah camp chairs the camp chef yeah. that kind of thing one thing that I noticed very quickly when we got down to the dealership is it had your standard pull out yes. steps in the front but it has the more ride mm -hmm. um, really really nicer system in the back um, something I've already noticed with the sturdier steps um, you can't sweep out out the door with those steps. It gets caught on the trim, I guess you would say. Um, so the nice thing about having two doors, I just brought it all over and swept it out this door. So in the front here, it has a... Closets. This one has shelving. Um, I've added this little basket for like socks and underwear or whatever um, we want to put in there. And then I added the... Um, baskets up top. Where's the, oh, look at that, blue lighting. mood lighting. Just to give us more storage, um, we are thinking about getting non-slip things to put under the fabric basket, so hopefully they don't roll around too much. Certainly add those fabric baskets up there. I hope keep clothing a little bit better contained than just throwing your clothes up there, though. Yes, and then this side has, um, it's more of like a hanging closet. Oh, so it's really not his and hers. There is yeah, one has of, shelves, the other doesn't. It's kind of more of sharing. I guess it's a good thing we like each other. The left side of the trailer is a, a big slide with a U-shaped dinette. And there's storage all underneath it. And and then uh, the couch. And uh, does the couch make into a bed? Yes, it's a trifold. 
So you don't need an air mattress or anything. Um, when you pull it out, if you have any guests sleep on it, it can just fold out and make it into a bed. Awesome. And nice. You've got a little storage above it. How deep is how deep is that storage? Um, it oh, goes yeah. all the way back. Little, little good storage there. Good storage Tasia's there. Tasia's already added her puzzle. And you said there's storage all the way around on the U-shaped dinette? Yes. So, and it looks like you've got access to that through doors on the ends of yes, the... Yes, so there's doors on each side. So it goes all the way back in there. And one thing I did notice when the slide is all the way in, the only thing you cannot access is that cubby on that side of the table. You can get to everything else. Because it butts up against the yes. double sink. And then they give you that little drying rack yes. kind of thing. That's cool. And then this cabinet's just one big one. And then a microwave. Is it yes. a convection microwave or a, it's like a standard microwave? And of course then we've got an oven, which is becoming kind of an oddity anymore in small, you know, in, well, in trailers. The, a lot of trailers don't come with ovens anymore. And, we thought it was really cool that there's a light in the oven. And that it can And strike. you can light it just with this knob. You don't have to manually pilot, manually light, it. pilot light it. Fridge and freezer. The freezer is separated yes. from the fridge. And one thing I noticed when we were trailer shopping, a lot of the newer trailers don't have a milk cut out on the shelf. Nate thought that was very strange. I pointed that out, but it's something I wanted. 40 inch TV. Yes. And, and it can come out. And there's nice storage oh, behind it. Oh yeah, there's storage it. behind it. So you can keep uh, something back there. Mm -hmm. And then we have a nice cubby underneath. Pantry, shelving area. More storage. And kind of a, I guess that's your and coat closet. My, we figured we'd put like the kids stuff in there. And then stepping back, you've got the double bunks. Yes. Um, and they are, you could have two, 300 pound people up here if you needed. Um, it says it's rated for 600 pounds. So it's okay if Nate gets up there. Yes. Not See, that Nate is 600 pounds, Nate, but... Nate, Nate, don't you tip the scale about 450, Nate? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yes, they're very nice. We liked the fact that there was a ladder, um, so our three-and-a-half-year-old could climb up here um, and hold, get a hold of the handle to get up and down a little bit easier. Um, this bottom one does come up for storage. Oh, well, that's interesting. Um... I've been told you could fit a kayak in here when traveling. And then we have the bath. And it didn't have a tub, but we figured that that would be okay. We'll just get like a storage bin to put in there to bath the kids in. And then the, as they get older, we'll just okay. have them shower. So you got a medicine cabinet, a little corner medicine cabinet, and a, a, a pretty big shower. Nate can fit in there very easily. So and it's got a ceramic toilet. It came standard with it. Uh, porcelain toilet. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Seems like it's more and more of the trailers have gone with the porcelain bowl. Uh, all right. And then all the gauges over here. Yeah, yes, another thing we out. looked for is we wanted um, all the buttons up high because we have littles and they like to play with buttons yes they do um and then we have this nice little cubby over here Nate will, Nate will probably put his gloves we might i don't know if that's gonna show very well but that's actually pretty it, deep it is pretty deep so we might put something in there to maximize that space better uh, it's got two gray tanks um this your black it's got a 76 gallon fresh water tank carrying capacity of this I believe was just over 1,500 pounds. So out here we have the outdoor kitchen and it has a, a small 110 
110 fridge. Is there a latch? No, there we go. Slides out. It's got a sink and a grill. And the sink's all plumbed in to the water and the sewer. So it does, the water will just go in your gray tank. Yeah, very good. So that's nice. Nate can wash up or I can wash up out here. And it's got a little storage area above that sliding. Yes. That sliding tray. Which we thought would be really nice to put our Camp Chef stuff um, up there. Just so it's already outside and easy to get to. Um, so whenever we're cooking on it, we don't have to go in and out of the trailer. It's just right here. And there's certainly a lot of people very unhappy with the uh, tires that are put on most trailers. And Jayco on this particular one has gone with the Goodyear Endurance which is uh, a tire that a lot of people will immediately go to um, with a trailer, getting rid of the China bombs that frequently come on <laughs> newer trailers. So uh, that's that's just a nice touch that Jayco would go ahead and, and put that better quality tire. And I was looking at it earlier and it is an E-rated tire. So the outside speakers in this particular unit are on the awning arms. That's I, I don't know that I've ever seen that before. That's a little different. So it's a 28 foot box. So the inside is 28 feet, but then from the hitch um, all the way to the back, it's 33 feet and two inches long. So a lot bigger than our 17 footer. So this particular trailer comes with scissor jacks on all four corners as part of the package. And two here in the rear. And the uh, access to the hot water heater is here in the rear, as well as the the 30 amp umbilical cord. And uh, it, as you can see here, it comes with a ladder to get up on the roof. Apparently, is it Jazz approved? This is not your home, Jazz. Where's Belle? <laughs> Jazz has already found her spot. Well, thanks for sharing your new trailer with everybody, you two. We are excited. Well, hey, everybody. This is where I'm going to end this one. I'd like to thank Shaylee and Nate for letting us showcase their new trailer. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and follow Angie, Jazz, and I on our journey. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you down the road.